<laughs> the moment you've been waiting for, folks! The Great Gonzales just entered the arena! Wow, looks like we actually made it! And listen to those cheers, Mario! They love you! Come on, let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? Just listen to this crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, Great Gonzales! Will his hammer of hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock hog socks? Now, at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys! Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. Arr, 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 arr. You wimps should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got the security guard to lock us up. You're damn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk that's been sending us mean hate emails about the crystal star then? Huh? I've no idea what you're babbling about now. What's a crystal star? No, wait, I don't care. I may not ex exactly play fair, but I got skills, punk. And now you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. That's Rockhawk. He flips, flaps and slaps. That's what the book says. HP is 40, attack is 4 and defense is 0. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty... meh. Nah. One thing you should know is that Rockhawk never fights above the board. Carelessness... Uh, carelessness leads to lifelessness, you know? Dude, what a tongue twister right there. He got me. Not too shabby! You're better than I thought! This may actually be fun! Don't get your head sweat though, cause you got a ways to go! Check this out! Time to rock!
Man, you're kinda annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no chance and choice but to... I've only just begun to rock. <laughs> no, I, Rock Hawk, the champ, the undefeated master of lost to such losers. Oh. Like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle! <laughs> technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. <laughs> Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely. The most legendary, amazing, and prowl history making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. You got a champ's belt. The champ's belt you earned when you bet Rock Hawk. Give him a hand, folks! The new Glitzpit champ! The Great Gonzalez! <laughs> well, you finally did it, son! Today is your first day as the new champ! Julian, hand him the fight money! Here's your fight money of 100 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get set you up in the champ's room right away. <laughs> Mr. Lee, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Gon Gonzalez, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use a terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, champ. <laughs> Mario, darling, we finally done it. We bet that loud. But I dare say that Chicken truly had no clue about the Crystal Star. We are still in dire straits as far as the real one goes. Wherever could it be? Oh my! Mario, darling, I do believe I heard a voice coming from somewhere. Oh. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. Might it be a ghost? Oh. Oh, 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 almost swooned. That mailbox has peace going to be the death of me. Discover the true nature of the ghost. So if that's to be believed, there's really a ghost? That's rather unsettling. Match reservations privileges for the Great Gonzales are currently suspended. What's this nonsense now? Is this the work of that axe? Does that lead? Ike, 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 Ike. Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yeah, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old ball ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First I let that King K engine walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear. Yeah, just like I did to the others. Like I did to Prince Bush, the first champ. That voice, that's Grabba. So, he's behind all those missing fighters? I better lock this room up tighter and a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relation to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what though? Since I'm thinking aloud here. Good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. This new chap might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. I hope we don't get caught. <laughs> I think he's gone. Let's check out the desk drawer of his.
Oh, bingo! A bet? That's a paper roll. Grab a hit. Check it out, Gonzalez. Yo! A machine on the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. I think that if this paper is right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh crud! You think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or some shit? Great Galapagulpits! How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras! You're staring at my secret paper too! Shut up! You make me sick! Why'd you drain King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Oh, Nelly, this ain't good! After him, Gonzalez! Come on, let's chase after Grubber. He's probably heading for the ring. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen Mr. Grubber at all. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Crystal Star. Ike, 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 Ike. How oh, you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. <laughs> You're Dan Tootin. And you know why? Cause it keeps my bot forever young, son. Using a Crystal Star to, to look good? You're so totally vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just show your traps now. I use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. <laughs> Muscle up! Macho Grubber! Ah, Grubber got huge! Oh way! I'm gonna smoosh you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pastor and little pieces of prairie piffle. So long as I have this here machine, my ball will be rough, tough and ultra buff. Okay Mario, I've had just about enough of this guy's yapping, let's take him down.
that's Macho Grubber. He's Grubber all soaped up on Crystal Star Power. HP is 60, attack is 4 and defense 0. His attack pattern is simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack. Then, he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power up he moves. So, it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he was just regular old grubber a moment ago. I guess the crystal stars really are powerful. It's spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Curse, it ain't gonna do you much in the end. To Shabby Gonzalez, you got showmanship, and that's gold in the biz. But this here battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal.
Oh, I'm finished yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. such a schlop. Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. <laughs> Mr. Champion. Oh, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother's one, brother once, by the name of Mush. He had have done anything to me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Gravos transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. So. The mysterious ex who was sending those emails. Correct, it was me. Once I saw you file, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubber. No, sir. No, not sir. Grubber. I want answers, right now. What did you do with my precious little brother, huh? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Oh, Prince Mush, he, he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him uh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, oh, he ain't around these parts no more. Ah, I, I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. You know, she came off all up in the uppity, but she was just a girl who loved her brother. Whoa! Mario, check it out! The Crystal Star! It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Wow, the crystal star can't do that. Oh, 
now, Mario. The crystal star is yours. Wow, for real? You can just take it? It's better that you have it. So, that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, you heard her, Mario. Grab it. Oh, yeah. Your star power is now 4, and Mario learned the special move Power Lift. Glitzville seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubber. Grubber had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? Beldum. Tell me. What good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character? Well, yes, yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. <laughs> Do you understand that we ex nots must open the thousand year door first? Do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. <laughs> I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. <laughs> Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. <laughs> oh, oh. No doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore? Oh my, that must be tech again. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. The main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I'm unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sogrodus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? Ugh. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. All right, 
fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask, Rodus? I want you to ask. Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh, is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Please wait just a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Huh? Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes. That is correct. Ah, uh, oof. I don't know what this is. It's awfully tight. And it kind of smells a bit. <laughs> oof. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. I bet I look perfect. Sagrodus? <laughs> yes. What is it? Speak. Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm? <laughs> Something is wrong with your voice, x not. Uh. <laughs> Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh! about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why, why in the world are we keeping here, her here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We x nauts need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Mm, something is odd about you. Uh, no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, please excuse me. Ooh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. 
I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. 